In this video, I will solve one numerical on Laplace transform. Find the Laplace transform of the waveform shown below. This is the given waveform. We have to find Laplace transform of this waveform. So this is called waveform synthesis. So in this waveform, we can observe that there is a ramp signal which begins at t equal to 0. That is, this red color line is a ramp signal which begins at t equal to 0. So our first signal should be ramp signal. Let me call So let me call this is a sub signal. I will call it as V1. The first signal is ramp signal. So for the ramp signal, we have to find the slope of the signal. So here we can see that let me call this as x1, y1 coordinates and at this point we have x2, y2. So here x1 is 0, y1 is 0 and x2 is 1 and y2 is 3. So slope can be calculated as that is slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that is y2 is 3 minus 0 divided by x2 is 1 minus 0. So slope of this signal is 3. So slope of this slope will be 3. So I can represent this signal as that is V1 is nothing but a ramp signal of slope 3. So V1 will be equal to 3t u of so here we can observe that at t equal to 1, this ramp signal should be stopped. So to stop this ramp signal, this is continued till infinity. So to stop this signal at t equal to 1, we should add one more negative ramp signal at t equal to 1. So let that be my second signal. That is, now to stop this ramp signal at t equal to 1, I must add one more ramp signal. I will call this signal as V2 at t equal to 1. So this is the negative ramp signal. Slope will be minus 3. Slope is equal to minus 3. So I can write V2 as it is delayed ramp signal. So we should represent it as so slope is minus 3. It is delayed by 1 unit. That is shifted ramp signal. It will be T minus 1 U of T minus 1. So for understanding purpose, I will show how the signal looks like when V1 is added with V2. So let this be V1 plus V2. So here V1, this is 0. Here it is 1. So when V1 is added with V2, the resultant signal will be like this. So here the magnitude of this is 3. So this is nothing but the step signal. This is nothing but the step signal or step waveform. So now in original signal we can see that at t equal to 2 sorry at t equal to 1 there is one step signal. So now we should reach this we should get this step signal. So to get this step signal but here upon adding v1 plus v2 the magnitude of the step signal is 2. So it should drop down to 2. So to make it to bring it to 2, we have to add one negative step signal at t equal to 1 of magnitude minus 1. So when we add 3 with minus 1, the magnitude will become 2. Let this, that be my V3. So let me draw the V3 signal. So V3 signal must be, let this be V3. So V3 must be a negative ramp signal of magnitude minus 1. Therefore, I can write V3 is equal to minus 1 U of T minus 1. So now upon adding V1 plus V2 plus V3, that is upon adding V3, now the signal will looks like this. I will draw here only. It will come down and the signal will be like this. So the magnitude of this will be so now we have reached this part is done and this part is done. So this will be continued till infinity. 
but here we can observe that at t equal to 2 this signal must be stopped that is at t equal to 2 this signal must be stopped to make this signal stop at t equal to 2 we have to bring the magnitude of this to 0 so we have to add one more step signal at t equal to 2 of magnitude minus 2 let that be my fourth signal v4 that is my fourth signal v4 will be again a step signal that is v4 will be that is 0 1 2 i have to add one negative step signal of magnitude 2 so its magnitude is minus 2 so i can write v4 is equal to minus 2 u of t minus 2 so now upon adding v4 with this that is plus v4 that is when we add negative step of magnitude 2 this is minus 2 this is plus 2 it will become 0 it means the signal this signal will come down to 0 it will come down to 0 so this is same as this signal so therefore now I can write V as so therefore V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4 that is v is equal to so v1 is nothing but ramp signal that is 3t u of t minus the negative ramp again 3 t minus 1 u of t minus 1 plus we have a step signal v3 that is minus step signal minus u of t minus 1 that is minus u of t minus 1 and another step signal that is minus 2 u of t minus 2. So now we have to take the Laplace transform of this. Taking Laplace transform of above equation I can write. So it, v is nothing but in time domain. So in Laplace transform I will represent it as V of S is equal to this is 3 constant kept as it is Laplace transform of ramp signal is 1 by S square minus minus 3 this is also ramp signal but shifted that is E power minus S divided by S square then the Laplace transform of step signal is minus this is shifted step signal e power minus s divided by s this is also step signal so here magnitude is minus 2 shifted by 2 in it e power minus 2s divided by s or i can write v of s is equal to 3 by s square minus e power minus s by s in bracket we have minus 3 by s minus 1 minus 2 e power minus s so this is the complete laplace transform of given waveform thank you for watching